Hello again, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I'm a freelance illustrator and today I'd like to talk about supplies. So as an artist, especially if you're working in a traditional medium, supplies is important. Even if you're working digitally, sometimes it helps to work traditionally. And so I'd like to talk about the art supplies that I have been really into so far for this year. Starting out with my most recent sketchbook. I will be doing a sketchbook tour once this is full. We're getting there, we're almost there. This is a Strathmore 500 mixed media sketchbook. I have heard good things about it, but I was like, it can't be that special. It's just a mixed media sketchbook. I used to use watercolor sketchbooks because the paper was a little sturdier. I could use gouache in it. I could use any kind of materials that I wanted in it. It was hefty, it took a beating, but I've been using this and honestly, it is surprisingly not bleeding through other pages no matter what materials I've been using in it. So I'm obsessed with it. The cover is this really soft, it makes my OCD brain happy and satisfying to touch. The paper is really nice quality. It's very thick. Like I said, it takes a good beating. How far are we in this bad boy? We've only got this much left to do. So sketchbook tour soon. However, I totally recommend this sketchbook. I will put links in the description for all of the items that I am talking about from here on out so that if you want to try them, you can give them a shot. Let me know what you think about them. If you love any of these materials as well, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for things I should try, let me know in the comments below. But starting nice and simple, this sketchbook, 10 out of 10. Next recent favorite, King Art Inkline Pens. I had tried a sketch box for a while and one of the boxes had these pens in them and let me tell you I love them I'd never heard of this brand before I hadn't tried it before but these pens I've been using them in my sketchbooks a lot of the spreads that I've been posting on my Instagram the plain air sketching I love bringing them with me they dry quickly, they don't smudge, they don't bleed through the page. I have been loving these. They last a decent amount of time. I feel like Microns, I just, I run out of ink so quickly. But so far, these have been, these have been great. I've been really loving them. I love all the different like nib sizes they have. I have done so many sketchbook spreads with them and I have just really been into them. They also reached out to me because I've been tagging them in my sketchbook posts because you know I, I like to let people know what materials I'm using and they reached out to me actually gave me a coupon code so if you would like to try any of their supplies, use the code COFFEEVAM for 10% off. That'd be really awesome. You get to save money. You can help support me a little bit. Thank you to King Art for working with me this way. This is not sponsored. Um, I just really enjoy their materials and I like working with them. As you've probably seen if you follow me on Instagram in my sketchbook work. There's the last one. There it is. The Muji Retractable Highlighters. I love these. These are so good. The colors are so fun. I've been using these in tandem with color pencils or the wax pastels and I love the color combos I'm getting. I love the bright saturation. I love the textures I'm getting with everything. I also have been using them a bit with the uh, 
Come on, focus. Focus. With the, I don't know if you can see that, with the soccer ball sign pens. These work so well with those highlighters because they're also extremely bright neon colors, but they're a little darker and so they complement it perfectly. And it's a small tip and so you can get like a lot of fun precision with it. Okay, I'll just grab a couple. As you know, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned these before. The Neo Color 2 Caran Dash. Is that how you say that? Aquarelle. These are water soluble wax pastels. I love these. I love the color options that they have available. I love the texture it gives. I love that it feels like using a crayon, and so I feel like you're getting the texture that you want but with more precision and more quality payoff. I love using these, especially over gouache or over the Muji highlighters. It is fantastic. I definitely rate the Muji highlighters and the Sakura pens like an eight or nine out of 10. The Neo Color wax pastels are definitely a 10 out of 10. I love using them. I reach for them so frequently. I just love it. I do so many spreads with them. I shared a recent spread that I did with them that I'm a big fan of because I've been getting really into strange ceramics. And so I drew these salt and pepper shakers that I had found. They're these really fun ceramic fish but the head is an entire fish. Um, so it's like a mermaid, but not at all because the head is just an entire, like, it's the whole fish just slapped on a human body, even though it already has a body. Fascinating. Um, and a recent spread that a lot of you all liked that were just some, some self portraity doodles. I love working with them. Again, with the Muji highlighters or over gouache gouache I've been really liking. It's just the regular acrylic gouache. You've seen it around. You know the deal. It's a whole bind acrylic gouache. I also, when I do work with gouache, I do prefer to use the Liquitex acrylic gouache for the white. I just like that, like using this a lot better than the whole bind white. And I also love that it comes with this kind of tip. So I feel like I have more control about how much white I'm using. And I feel like I'm not wasting or putting too much on the palette. Uh, another favorite, when I do do like thin drawings, I'll use this Zebra Sarasa Clip pen. It is 0.3 and I love this. I love the small nib sized pens. Let me see if I have something in my sketchbook to show you how this bad boy writes. So there's just like a quick little little doodle page. It's these nice, extremely thin, controlled lines. I love writing with it. I like drawing with it sometimes. Like I said, I tend to use a king line for bigger sketches because they're just chunkier and I feel like I'm covering more area. I feel like I can be a little looser with them. Like, I feel like when you have a bigger, chunkier nib, you can kind of be a little messier. You can be a little looser with your drawings. So those are my current favorite supplies that I've been using, that I've been gravitating to, that I've been trying out. If you would like to try any of these, I will have links in the description. If you have, if you tried any of these, let me know your thoughts and opinions on them. If you have any supplies that I should try out that you love and would recommend, let me know. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to try out something new. As always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.